Okay, good morning YouTube. So, back in Patea, I've been up the farm for 12 days. Um, got a lot done, extremely a lot done. Uh, house, got the house situated, got all the plumbing, water, electricity into the house. Building a decking around it, got a lot of irrigation done on the land. So yeah, some good progress. Um, back in Patea, I'm just gonna go and have a look at the house build here. I've been looking on the cameras, they've progressed exceptionally well over the last two weeks. Started building walls now inside the house, so yeah, so we'll see how it goes when I get there. So my morning ritual on the way to the house is, uh, I have my Red Bull. People are going to say it's bad for you. Well, it is what it is. You only live once, don't you? So I also double caffeine hit. Always, every morning, my Red Bull and my old cafe from the 7-Eleven, which is a little franchise that's inside the 7-Eleven. I always get an iced latte and I always have my Red Bull in the morning. So for you back in the UK that you, you all love your Red Bull and vodka as well, I'm sure you all know Red Bull originated in Thailand. This is the real Red Bull. Um, it comes in these the little 100... 45 milliliter bottles a bit smaller than the uh, cans in the UK. I think they're 200 mil or 220 mil This out here is 15 baht, right? So it's three quarters of a can size Or just a bit less than what you get in the UK and this costs the equivalent of about 25 P out here um, And this is the original stuff. It does taste a little different. I think it tastes a lot better to be honest I've never tried it in vodka because I'm not a vodka drinker, but for those of you who are, you know, you can always try this whenever you come to Thailand. But this is the real deal. This is the real deal. Kating Jang Diang. That's what they call it. Say, morning ritual. So, Red Bull versus coffee. What do you like best? I'm not going to separate them because I'll drink both, but there you go. When you're in Thailand, you need to try the real deal because, uh, well, my opinion tastes a lot better and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. So, uh, yeah, so, been a busy couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, a lot done up, up, up on the uh, farm. Drove back yesterday, still a bit tired actually. It's a long drive. Did it all in one. Well, actually, it only took six and a half hours, but. Excuse me. It's just a long drive. It was very busy as well. For some reason. We got back to Patea. Five o'clock. We had to jump, drop Pam's sister and her husband off. At their condo in Patea. And we got to the outskirts of Patea at five o'clock. And we didn't get to their condo till 20 to six. And we didn't get to our house till 20 past six. So it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get from Bangkok. And then it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get from within Patea to our house, which is only six kilometers. It was ridiculous last night. Really busy. So, good for business here, but uh, too busy. No good for my patience, I can tell you that. So anyways, we left the, um, say we left it up at TAC Yesterday it was 39, 40 degrees. It's 10 degrees warmer up there. I mean, here I'm just looking now. I know it's only 20 past eight in the morning and it's it's 31 degrees. So here, but I say this time in the morning up in Tack, it was 36, 37. So there's a good seven or eight degree difference down here. It's, it's quite a lot more comfortable down here. It's not as humid neither. So Yeah. Just eating me, excuse me, toasting ham and cheese sandwich. Very nice. I've just got all the drinks for the uh, workers. All the energy drinks and uh, some other stuff. Nice teas, which they like, so I'll take them up to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Anyways, okay. So I'm signing off for now. I'll be back in about 10 minutes when I get to the land. Speak to you later.